tell me that she still love me. It's 5 a.m. and I'm drunk right now. Tell me, can we still fuck? One on one, I'm in the zone right now. Tell me, am I still? Mm, I'm telling you just how I feel right now. You say it's just the drugs, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I lied to you way before, before, before I had you right this home. I can be drunk Baby, I don't wanna sound righteous I got 20 bitches sucking like license I just get him and he might roll a dice since I pick uh, She ain't even really my type And out here she been losing herself To the night shift she been losing herself And I get it Oh girl, yeah, I get it yeah. And you been fighting for your shot And you been searching for your spot And I get it What's up, YouTube? It's Zariah, aka Ryan Miani, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if I gotta choose someone, so it must be her. She's been here since day one. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. What's up, y'all? As y'all can see by the title of today's video, this is going to be a week in my life slash my first week of classes vlog. So sit back and enjoy because this is gonna be. A roller coaster and I'm kind of nervous y'all like I don't know where any of my classes are plus it's storming like really really bad it has been storming terribly since last night so I already know traffic going up to Kennesaw is gonna be hell because it's already bad like when the weather ain't bad because people in Atlanta cannot drive mixing people who can't drive with rain is it's gonna be a disaster every time so that is why i woke up so early right now it is 11. i woke up at like 7 30 but then i went back to sleep and i woke up at like 9 because i was like i really didn't need to wake up that early but my classes aren't until three but i wanted to make sure that we leave on time because it's a couple of things that i need to do beforehand and also because the traffic is going to be bad so i don't want to be late so that's why I went ahead and got an early start. If you all are new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can join the fam. And make sure you turn on my post notifications so that you never miss when I upload a video. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram because that is where I post most of my updates. Pretty much all of my updates, I post them on Instagram. So make sure y'all follow me over there. And yeah, right now I'm just finna fluff out my ponytail. And slick my hair back down a little bit. I got dressed. I tried to do like a little get ready with me. But like y'all my fits be basic. Like I'm not one of them fashionishes dripper drown people. Like to be honest with y'all I don't like. I don't like wearing clothes. Like for real for real. But I still look cute and comfortable. That's, that's what I be going for. My style is cute and comfortable. Like. It goes together but it's like I don't I don't be doing all that extra stuff so we got on a little cute and simple fit this style is so cute and it has lasted a good long time and I'm very very proud of myself because usually my ponytails do not be lasting last night I did my lashes and they came out super super cute I just ended my prep with me vlog last night so that is definitely going to be up before this one so make sure you go stop and watch that before you watch this video and then come back and join me but yeah like I said I'm just going to slick my hair down do my eyebrows and then that'll be all I need to do to get ready I also have to pack my book bag and put my shoes on and pack my purse or whatever I made a literal checklist of everything that I need to make sure I do and bring with me today so I don't forget anything I'm the type of girl I put everything in my notes so I can be very forgetful especially when I have a lot going on so I did my get ready with me that's the first thing on my list showed y'all my love I didn't really show like me in the bathroom and stuff because I feel like I do that in every single video and I didn't want to keep doing that so I went in the bathroom handled my business came out made my bed up and then I showed y'all me getting dressed now I'm about to do my hair and my eyebrows and then I have to pack my book bag gotta make sure I bring an umbrella because the rain is ridiculous y'all literally every time it seems like I have to go on campus it rains for orientation if y'all haven't seen that video make sure you go check it out my that video did really really well 
thank y'all for that and if you haven't seen it like i said go check it out it rained in that video i didn't record new student orientation because it was just a lot going on then but it rained that day literally every day that we have to go on campus it seems to rain and it's raining today and then it's even worse because it's been tornado warnings and floods and power outages and everything like this storm really came through tripping like gotta make sure i get my phone charger i ate some breakfast i ate a bowl of cereal which i'm proud of myself because i usually do not eat when i wake up in the morning but i did eat a bowl of cereal i also need to see if my dad will let me stop by target because i need a notebook like i have math and i don't have a notebook like who goes to math with no paper so i need to go get a notebook and just like some basic school supplies and that's pretty much what's on my to do list for today i'm just nervous because it's like i'm technically kind of like by myself like me and my cousin we don't have a schedule together like at all like we don't even go to campus on the same day so we thought that you know like we would have each other and we would be good but that girl go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I go Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we don't even cross paths like at all. <laughs> I'm just the type of person I be standoffish and I be by myself anyway. So being alone, it really don't bother me for real, for real. I just don't want to get lost. My only thing is that I do not want to get lost because getting lost is embarrassing. And then you be walking in the class all late and you be sitting there asking or going to the wrong class. Like you'll sit there. And then the teacher would be like, okay, welcome to da 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 And you'd be like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I think I did that before when I was at Savannah. And I was like, oh my God, no. Wish me luck, y'all. I just hate that it's raining. Like, I was going to drive myself and do, like, my whole, like, little thing, routine or whatever. And show y'all all of that. I'm still going to film everything. Of course, that's that's what I make sure I put on my list no matter what make sure you film everything but my dad he offered to drive me up there because of the weather and hey uh, a free ride and I ain't got to use my gas I'm, I'm not complaining yeah you you definitely can drive me <laughs> so yeah I was not finna turn down that offer and you would do a two for a chick let me stop <laughs> everything I need and packed in my book bag I got my umbrella and I bought an extra camera battery it's probably gonna run out both of them by the end of the day but it's whatever um I'm finna switch and put this jacket on that actually goes with the pants because y'all it's cold I just went and stood outside <laughs> and it's a little chilly Alright, I'll see y'all in the car. I'm up.
break, baby boy. Concrete, look, nigga. Yeah, I rapping all that shit. I'm still a street, look, nigga. Got more shots than a gym. You wanna be, look, nigga. I'm who all they hoes like they wanna be me, nigga. Diamonds look just like the static on the TV, nigga. Win, cut the hoes. I play her like a CD, nigga. Pull up A content. You can't see me, nigga. Shot his ass and he screamed, oh, ooh, we nigga. With my clock out, if the ops out, I'ma rock out. Fat mouth, turn a fat mouth to a shot mouth. This Target don't have no notebooks. This shelf is literally empty. That is crazy. I'm trying to get a folder. They never have pink stuff, so I'll just stick with white. Get a folder. You never know. I gotta put papers in here. Why are the mechanical pencils so expensive? I guess I'm gonna just grab a pack of these. Yes. They're black. These are cute. Let's just grab these. That's all I need, I think. Okay, I need to All right, I'm gonna go check out. Finally on my own and I'm on campus and I'm looking for the building for my first class. It's not until 3.30, but I just wanted to go ahead and figure out where it was so I wouldn't be scrambling trying to find it. I think I'm on the right path. I'm looking at the map. I got it here on my phone. I think I'm pretty close to it. It says it's behind the English building. So I'm right in front of the English building. So we're going to see. So those are the big things. Okay. Major assignment one, annotated bib. Major assignment two is going to be your research proposal. And then but those are the three main um, assignments that you're going to do right here. So submit assignments to D2L on time. All right, y'all. I made it out of my first class and it took me a while for me to find it basically like it was over in the cut and i had walked past the building like a couple of times and didn't even realize it so i was able to find it but that professor she's really cool and we just did like introductions so everybody just like said their name a couple of facts about themselves she told us about her so that class seems easy and i love the way that she has it look nice because she has every week um already laid out so we can see what's due each week and we only have to meet once a week for that class so that's fine now it is currently 4 45 which is what time that class was supposed to end it actually ended early but my next class isn't until 6 30 so i'm just chilling here until 6 30 and i'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done on my laptop basically like just do the syllabus quizzes for these classes and stuff and finish organizing everything but so far so good it's just cold i hate the cold if y'all could feel how cold it is i hate it i wish i had got some snacks because now i kind of want a snack and i left my cup in the car i realized i was trying to get out the car so fast because i was just ready to get out that i left my cup so but i'm sitting in like this ducked off corner in the building and the windows right here so I'm just sitting here looking out the window on my laptop and we finna chill here until 6.30.
y'all as you can see i made it back home it is now 8 52 p.m my last class ended at like around 7 20 ish basically today both of my classes they were just doing like the introductory the syllabus, was you know the easy stuff just like showing you how the class is going to be laid out the expectations blah 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 you know this just the simple boring stuff but my first day, I just want to say it went, I think it went really, really good. Like, I only had a little hiccup when I was like trying to find my class, but I didn't get like completely lost. I just couldn't find the actual building. I actually stopped and asked the girl and she showed me where it was. So I was like, kudos, shout out to her because she helped me out because I had actually walked past it like when I was recording, talking to y'all. But I ended up finding it. That class was cool. That professor, I love the way she has the class organized. And I was telling y'all about that earlier, like she has everything laid out week by week and then my last class is my math class and that's in the other building they're literally like literally right by each other so i don't have to walk too too far to get to my classes that's my math class like i was saying and i love that professor already like the way she was talking about the class and her expectations and the way that she teaches i got a very very good feeling that i'm going to be successful in that class and with me since math isn't like a good subject for me it depends on the teacher like the way that the teacher teaches really depends on how well i do in the math class and i can tell that she's going to be one of those professors that really just i can tell she's going to be helpful all i really really have to say is god is good all the time amen with patience and prayer things always work out everything happens for a reason and I just have to keep telling myself and I keep having to remind myself that and I want to tell anybody else out there who's like in a place or just like in a bad headspace where you think like this isn't going to work. It's going to work out because that was me for the longest. I was in such a bad headspace. I didn't think I was going to make it out. I didn't think things were going to turn out to be good. I didn't think things were going to work out. But after I just came home, the day that I had and the stuff that I just received, like it just it just dawned upon my spirit just to say that like god is good and i just want to say that but yeah my day was good and i really hope y'all enjoyed this first day of my first week of classes like i said i only have classes two days at the week so tuesday and thursday tomorrow is going to be a chill day for me i'm not sure what's on the agenda tomorrow but i know i'm going to go ahead and knock out so my assignments i want to upload my prep with me vlog and so i want to go ahead and start editing that and getting all of that stuff out of the way i also have to edit my mini vlogs because i vlogged here and there throughout me getting ready for school and i also vlogged my first day of school so i have to edit those two mini vlogs so yeah i'm just gonna be on top of my content and on top of my assignments and your girl gonna do what she need to do i also have to text my manager and see when i'm gonna um start and be put on the schedule because i already did my job training so i got that knocked out of the way now i just have to wait to actually be put on the schedule like i said so got all that out of the way i'll probably see y'all on thursday when i head up there for my classes again so talk to y'all later you start the music that's your idea
what's up y'all today is thursday and it is currently 12 p.m as y'all can see i just went to tropical smoothie so i can get me a smoothie for the morning because i haven't ate anything and i just stopped to fill my car up with some gas i am about to drive up to the school now i was gonna go sit in the um the dining hall and finish editing the video before this one because i literally put all the tracks on there and all the clips i just had to go back and put like the music and stuff like that and different effects but I just realized that I forgot my ID. So I have to go back home and get that. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm about to run right back home and get that. Luckily, I didn't get far before I realized that I don't have it. Because I would have got up all the way up there and been mad. Can't even go in the dining hall. But this is gonna be my first time driving up there by myself on campus. The other day, I went with my parents because they were already headed up to Kennesaw to go shopping. Like I said, we're familiar with the Kennesaw area. We be up there like quite a lot. Plus my dad goes to the golf store up there all the time. So I just rode with them because they were already going up there and the traffic and the weather was bad on Tuesday, y'all. I'm actually excited. Like I'm be having my car. I just feel so, I don't know. I'm just being dramatic, y'all. I just feel happy because I'm so glad that I'm in school. It's like, I prayed for this. And now I'm living in it. It's crazy when you be looking back on stuff that you pray for. Me and Donna was serving on Star Street. Not legit, he gon' stay with a child. But told me don't take my foot out the gas. They give you an inch, gonna take you a mile. She on that 42 straight with no chasing. I'm trying to get out of here and go taste it. I'm so ready for this 21 Savage album. Oh my god. Why do you niggas cap so far? Savage, not boys in the hood, but I pull up on you, shoot your ass in the back. Thought it was full of July. You know, I was playing around with that fight. Daddy, bro, bitch, kid. That's a crack kills, nigga. My crack shit. I just made it to the exit and that dog go traffic that day that traffic some serious and there's all these goddamn 18 wheelers oh my heart was about to beat out my chest i hate riding next to an 18 wheeler because my car is small and i feel like they're not gonna see me <laughs> I made it though now i just have to figure out where this um parking lot is for the shuttle because i have to park in that parking lot and then ride the bus over to where i'm supposed to be because that was the only parking passes that was left i couldn't get one that was like in the deck or something so now we gotta see where it's at okay i found the lot that i'm supposed to be parked in it took me a minute because this lot is not even technically on campus it's like on the other side of the exit when you got the highway so i had to find it on the um map but i found it so now i'm gonna get my stuff together and make sure i have everything because it's no coming back to my car because this this light is nowhere near nowhere near where i need to be and i'm trying to see this is the shuttle bus even gonna come over here because this this lot look a little i don't i don't know this bus stop look a little vacant but you know vacant 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 y'all know the word i'm trying to say why did that word sound so weird it look empty. <laughs> Put y'all up 
until I find somewhere to go. <laughs> I don't know if like y'all can hear me, but I'm in the dark. And I'm sitting here adding the blue spot. Hi guys. As you can see, I'm back home now. A lot of time has passed and a lot has happened while that time has passed. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I gotta put y'all down. <laughs> okay, so boom, it is now 10 o'clock. I just walked in the door. The last time I talked to y'all, I was sitting in the dining hall um, editing my video. I was able to get that done, export it, upload it, and my video went out at 7. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check out the prep vlog, which is the vlog before this one. So go back and check it out. Um, after that, it took me a while to edit because it, I just I just like going back and you know tweaking things, perfecting stuff. So I got done editing literally right before my class, which is at 6:30, and I was able to get done, export it, all that. Boom, boom, boom. Went to my math class. I love my math professor, y'all. Like she reminds me of a teacher that I had in high school and I loved her math class because math is not a good subject for me but the way that she teaches it you're able to like get it like she don't go too fast or too slow she go at the right pace and then she gives you notes so you can go along with her so you know what you talk about I love her class anyway got out of class right so I'm like okay boom I gotta ride the bus back you know I had to get on the bus to go to the campus so I gotta ride the bus back to my car so I'm thinking I don't know why I thought that all the buses went the same ways. I don't I don't know why I thought that, but that's not how the bus routes work. It's different routes to different locations, of course. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just ready to go. So the first bus that got to the stop, I just got on the bus and was just riding. I'm like, okay, are we gonna go around to the stop? No, I got on the wrong bus. I got on the bus that went to the West Campus. And I parked at a whole nother location. So at the end, of, I was like, is this going to go to, you know, the stop that I met? I had said the name of the stop. She was like, no, that's this is not that bus. And she was like, you're on the wrong bus. I was like, oh, well, I didn't know. This is my first time riding the bus. So she had to take me back around to where I was. And then I had to wait another 15, 20 minutes for whatever reason for my bus to come. During the day, the buses come back to back to back. But at late at night, they stop and they wait, I guess, for like people they just they run differently at nighttime of course for people who have late classes so i had to wait for the longest for my bus to come finally get on the right bus and then she drives past my stop because it wasn't one of the main stops i parked at an in-between spot i didn't know it was an in-between spot i just thought a stop was a stop they stopped at all the stops she drove right past my stop so she drove past my car so i had to get off at the next stop and walk back around the corner to my car. Mind you, it's cold. And I have to pee. So at this point, y'all, I'm over it. And I had a 50 minute drive home. I'm tired. I'm tired, but hey, college. <laughs> you wanted to go to college. This is what you get. I mean, but I didn't know that I wasn't gonna get housing, so. It's not all technically my fault, but god dang. I'll talk to y'all later. I don't know when I'm gonna end this video, but I just have to give y'all the update because it's just like I'm just I'm over it. I'm so over it. Clearly I was so over it that I forgot to make a proper outro. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really, really hope you all went on to enjoy. Although my second day, the end of it was a little rocky, I still had a very, very good first week at KSU. When you get to somewhere new and you go to a new school, of course, things are going to be trial and error because you're not used to things and you have to get the hang of being in such a new environment. So I definitely still enjoyed my first week despite the little hiccups that I had. Also, as y'all can see in the title of today's video, this is going to be the start of my new series called KSU College Chronicles, where I will be documenting my journey and my experience at Kennesaw State. So this is the first of many videos to come and I really hope you all went on to enjoy this one. To stay along with me and my journey, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and also do not forget to like and comment on the video and I will see y'all in my next one. 
Bye. Hope you can find someone to love you better than I did.